shoot, this is the wrong way. Yeah, we have to do it this way. I forgot. It's like the sun can't make up its mind. It doesn't know if it wants to stay out or go back in, but I'm sick and tired of it. Can you make up your mind, mister? Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Chi Chi, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. And what are we doing today? Well, today, my honeys, we are going to do a hygiene routine. You know, like, we're grown. We can't be out here stinking. Nobody wants that. It ain't cute. Even I needed help. It's okay to need help. It's okay to admit that you don't know it all and that you need help sometimes. Because it wasn't that I was, like, here, like, stinking, but I definitely needed a little bit more help so I can smell more fresh throughout the day. So I did my research, you know, with the help of TikTok and YouTube videos, and I decided to just go and update my hygiene routine so today we are doing a brand new a fresh uh, non stinky hygiene routine yes if you guys are excited for this video please go ahead and thumbs up the video leave me comments I don't get enough comments on my videos leave me comments down below I love to read them and let us just get cracking because this is about to be a long video and your girl got work in like 30 minutes from the top make it drop that's a wet okay the first thing that I do, and I don't do this every day, but I think that this is an important step, is dry brushing. What dry brushing essentially is, is before you get into the shower, before you get you know your soap on and all that stuff, you're gonna go in and you're just going to dry brush. So what I do is I go in circular motions all around my body with this brush, and it just helps to kind of start getting rid of those dead skin cells sis get a dry brush i introduced this to my boyfriend and his skin has been smooth chocolate delicious you know what i'm saying i used to do this more regularly before i no longer really do this because i found other things that work for me yes let's talk about teeth so i just use the regular Regular Max Fresh, I think this is Colgate, and then I just have this thing on my toothbrush. It's like a, I like a basically like a protector because I don't know what it is. I just I'm kind of afraid of bacteria dropping on my toothbrush and then me putting it in my mouth, especially because my toothbrush stays in my bathroom. So I just have this protection over it. For me, I brush my teeth hard, and I heard from somewhere that you shouldn't be going as hard on your teeth because it doesn't really do anything to loosen the plaque on your teeth just basically and this is like I, I end up switching to a softer toothbrush and then I just like slowly go in circles and that's how I brush my teeth um, I guess people have been showing this the toothpaste I use is the crest extra whitening with tartar protection toothpaste I switch this all the time so it doesn't even matter. What do I want? Okay, mouthwash. This has been a game changer for me. The mouthwash I was using for a very long time was the Colgate Total 12 Hour Pro Shield mouthwash. Looks like this. I always get the flavor Peppermint Blast. I loved this for a very long time and it seemed to work okay. But when I was watching a lot of hygiene routines, they, they recommend this, this Thera Breath Fresh Breath. The one I have is in the Icy Mint and I also have it in the Peppermint. These are a little bit more expensive than the normal, um, the normal mouthwash, but I trust me, girl. Trust me when I say, I'm yelling. Trust me, trust me that this is worth the money y'all my breath my breath my breath does not stink no more this works and i was like i I, didn't, I was like confused i'm like this better be worth it because it's kind of expensive girl it is worth it it's worth it you need it okay so what you do is you gargle for 30 seconds so you put your your throat you put your mouth back and you gargle for 30 seconds you spit it out then you rinse your mouth with it for a minute um, this is so amazing. It works and it keeps your breath fresh all day. Goodbye, bad breath. See ya, don't wanna be ya. A lot of our bad breath 
stems from our tongue so the next thing I have is this tongue scraper I just go in after I brush my teeth and I just scrape my tongue there's a few other ones I know that I used to have the aura aura care, care or something um, this one seems to work better because it's metal and you just scrape it down your tongue with a combination of this this and brushing my teeth twice a day bad breath is gone i killed it i forgot to mention please floss please make sure you're flossing so important at least once a day just go ahead and floss just do it you're gonna save yourself a lot of dental insurance money just for flossing okay bye thank you <laughs>I get in the in the shower I decided to go back to using washcloths I use washcloths to scrub my body and I go in first with either the dove this is a dove beauty bar in pink rose a lot of people have been telling me to get the sensitive skin one not a lot of people like well, who, do, who do i think i am but i have i've been watching videos where people have been getting the sensitive skin dove bar soap but i started using bar soaps y'all so what i would do is i would take a washcloth and a bar soap or i would take the dr bronner's 18 in 1 peppermint pure castile soap this is kind of hard to find in canada I found it at London Drug, so for y'all who are can Canadians, I got you, girl. This Dr. Bronner's is a game changer. Look, I... I didn't think I was dirty before, okay? I took showers. I take showers. I wash myself. I know how to clean myself. But the first night I used this... <laughs> I felt so embarrassed guys because the shower water was like like the, you could see the dirt coming from your body and that's not to say that you're not clean we're, we're not here to judge because look I I had to do my own research too but this leaves your body squeaky clean clean I used to just use a body wash like a scented body wash and I would go in with my loofah and a scented body wash I'll wash my body rinse and then apply my lotions and stuff look sis you need to be getting clean and this is going to do the job this is the peppermint one so it does have that minty kind of feel on your body but it's not too bad for me like the first night i used it i was like whoa i don't like this feeling but by the second night the third night i was like yeah this this i so yeah the dr bronner's i highly recommend you literally need like you need to get your washcloth and go like pew pew pew, pew and that's it it's gonna be enough for your entire body so either get a bar soap or um, this one I highly recommend because I actually see the dirt coming off my body so after I do that if it's a day where I am exfoliating and shaving I go in with my exfoliator if you guys watched my MT's video you saw me talk about the st. Ives body scrub this has upgraded since then <laughs> I'm living my best life right now because I'm finding all these new products and it's making me so happy this is the tree hut lemon blueberry tart scrub I got this from Walmart I've been hearing so much about it whenever I see a hygiene routine video I see them talking about this tree hut body scrub and I was like I need to get my hands on this but the way Canada is set up is really hard for us to get this so I went on Amazon and they were like telling me like $44 for a jar and I was like <laughs> put a, put a pin in it for a sec I need to hear you correctly $44 for a scrub hell no but eventually I ended up picking it up at Walmart they have like maybe three different kinds of flavor in there and then I also went to Superstore and found a couple other ones but this one is the one I'm using right now this is a lemon blueberry tart oh smells so delicious so yes I would scrub my entire body after I wash up with this and then I will go in with my um, coconut oil I use this if I'm shaving I will apply this to the areas that I'm shaving and then I will go in with my razor this is the five blade disposable razor I just got it from PharmaSave but I heard that the five blade is better because it gives you like a closer shave so I will go in and I will do my shaving and everything then after I do that then I go in with my nice smelling body wash I was using this one this is the Olay um, shave and peony blossom body wash 
and now as you can see it's empty so and now that this one is empty this is the one i used to use before i went and purchased from bath and body works i finally got my hands on these i kind of do this thing where if I'm gonna if I'm gonna wash my body with this and I want to also use it as a fragrance and I want to use the lotion just so that you can be matching with your scent and it just smells so much better so this is the moisturizing body wash they do have that regular body wash that you can get but I'm all, all about the moisture like I need my body to be moisturized to the max I don't really struggle with dry skin but that's also because I'm super anal about moisturizing all the time so this scent specifically is the in the stars um scent so i have the moisturizing body wash then i have the 24 hour body cream and then i have the fragrance mist so i go in with this after i shave i put some on my loofah this time i put some of this on and i go over my body because that's the scent that i want to leave on my body after i do that what I have learned to do in order to prevent ingrown hairs, um, especially in your bikini area, is I go in with the Dickinson's Enhanced Witch Hazel Toner. You can get this for a couple bucks at Walmart. And I also go in with the aloe vera gel. Both of these products you can find at Walmart. This just helps to cool and calm the place. And I have heard that it helps with your um, like ingrown hairs and all that stuff. And then of course, this also helps to calm the area. So I apply this with a cotton pad or whatever in that area and I wipe it off. When you're in the shower, your pores are open. So it's able to receive moisture into your skin. So it's really, really important that you moisturize with some kind of oil while in the shower. You know, I used to get greased up for days and I realized that it wasn't really giving me the level of moisture I wanted to attain. You know, like that, there's that level you want to get to. And I wasn't getting there. So what I realized was that it's just basic science. Your pores are open when you have hot water and you're ready in the shower. So why not put moisture on your body while your pores are open before you come out and dry your skin? Duh! Anyways, the two products that I use when it comes to putting oil on my body, I recently discovered this Palmer's Cocoa Butter Skin Therapy Oil. This has been what I have been using and this smells good, guys. This smells really good. So I either use this oil or I just go in with regular regular coconut oil. For a long time I was just using the coconut oil and it was get it was it was making my skin soft for days. Okay, so we're out of the shower. What I do is I apply my lotions. For now, I'm either using this one, which is the In The Stars, and I get the Ultra Shea Body Cream, the one that's super moisturizing. I don't get the other one that's just like a regular lotion. Either that or I go in with my Hemp's Milk and Honey. I also talked about this product in my empties tag. I had used up the... I think it's like the watermelon and something but this scent is the milk and honey and it smells equally wonderful amazing i love this and it's super moisturizing and super nice on the body and i love the way this smells then um i go in with my deodorant the deodorant i use is the dove secret dry spray i just love using dry spray deodorants because i don't know why really but i feel like the other one leaves like a white residue at the end of the day and these don't and i also feel like this keeps me more fresh for longer but that's just my opinion who knows what's going on sis so i go in with that and then i'm also going to show you guys my favorite fragrance if you guys have been watching me since 2019 i have talked about this perfume and your girl finally repurchased and i cannot be happier this is the scent i'm wearing today if i'm not wearing this i'm i'm gonna be wearing the matching in the stars so whenever i use like the in the stars stuff i go in with the matching fragrance mist but on days when i'm using the milk and honey lotion it goes really well with this perfume this is the burberry my burberry black perfume oh i missed you you're the best no you are <laughs> no you are it's so expensive but it's worth it i love this perfume i love the way it smells i always get compliments it's a more sensual scent which means that it's super like 
deep and I don't feel like guys can wear it to be honest with you but this is my favorite perfume and literally the only perfume I have I don't like to have like multiple perfume I just like to find my scent stick to it and that's it that's my signature scent so yeah this is what I've been using and oh yeah and also drink your water Yes, sir, Bob. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed my hygiene routine or you have more products that you want me to try, I am always willing to try new things because I always want to smell great and have soft skin. So if you have any recommendations for me, leave them down below. Please, please, please leave me a comment. I would love to read what you think. And that is it. Subscribe like comment and i will see y'all later bye for the moment i thought i'd make you see but you still keep arguing with me i showed you my face when i was wrong gotta wake up bigger stop yeah too many confess too many comebacks one too many